Hey folks, Wayne Baldwin from the Speedy King Channel. Let's recap and let's listen to the stretch run of this year's Belmont Stakes. The mile in 137 and 2. Here comes Essential Quality up on the outside to challenge Hot Rod Charlie for the lead. Rock Your World is next in third. Then Rombauer, known agenda being asked for more as the field comes for the quarter pole. It is Essential Quality on the outside and Hot Rod Charlie on the inside. Essential Quality with a narrow lead. Hot Rod Charlie continues to battle on and now there's an eighth of the mile to the finish. It is Essential Quality with the lead here over Hot Rod Charlie. Now a sixteenth to the finish and it is Essential Quality and he's showing his quality today. The champion two-year-old has won the test of the champion. Hot Rod Charlie was second. Big break back to Preakness winner Rumbauer in third. Big break back to the Preakness winner Rambauer to Rumble. Young man Rumble Halls. Again, congrats out to Essential Quality and the untouchable one of Brad Cox and his merry horse, two-year-old champion. Fantastic race. Absolutely fantastic race. And wasn't a lot of money to be had there, that's for sure. But they stepped out there. They went 22-3 and three to the first quarter. They went 46-2 and two to the second. And they went 112 flat. And I'm telling you, Hot Rod Charlie had to deal with Rock Your World. He had to deal with, for the first quarter, the France horse. And old Rambauer set there fourth. And essential quality, like I said, could put the horse anywhere. You know, Asias could put this horse anywhere he wanted on the track, in a tracking position. And he was fit, and he moved up alongside of him around the turn, and he just outfinished him. But there's no, no doubt about it, Hot Rod ran a tremendous race. Because he was being dealt with all the way around the racetrack, you know, by uh, Rock Your World. Who, by the way, just isn't that good, right? California oil. He's just not that good. All right. They need to put him back on the turf or wherever they're going to put him. And the Franz horse didn't get the million dollars so they can ship him back over there. His speed figures was horrible. And Rambauer, again, it was like super stock. He had the perfect setup in the Preakness. You know, and he ran by midnight. You know, he ran by bourbon. And, um, you know, he won the, won the thing. But he's not. He's not as good as Essential Quality and obviously not as good as Hot Rod Charlie. He's a, he's a nice horse, but he's not up to this standard. And the three long shots, you know, Bermodic, the number one, uh, the bottom horse, who I thought could get in the super, but they bet him down to 12 to 1, 11 1 as well. And uh, he couldn't do anything, uh, over, overtook. Uh, so. You know, there wasn't a bunch of money to be made. Now, what I did was I ended up playing the horse to win. He was 2-1 to one with one minute to go. I ended up putting $130 on him to win right here. And I got, a, as you can see, I got an alive pick three going back to the uh, 13th race. But I bet essential quality, 130 140 bucks with a $20 ticket going back to the pick three. Uh, races uh, 12 and 13, uh, just see if I can catch a number. But I looked around, running down the back stretch, the horse was 6 to 5. So, but we cashed the ticket, you know, it was a very, very good race. Uh, the takeaway here was Hot Rod Charlie's a nice horse. He's got very tactical speed, um, you know, he, he, he dug in, and they were at least 10 or 12 lengths in front of uh, the third place horse, you know, and um, I tell you, these two horses are very, very good, and a two-year-old champ got it, got home, and uh, once again, uh, Brad Cox couldn't win nothing all day, but he took down the big one, which was the Belmont Sticks, as you know. So, as always, folks, tell me how y'all did, let's get the commentary going, tell me what you think. Uh, there wasn't a bunch of money to be made here. I cashed a ticket for $130 here to win on him. And I got a pick three going back to the 13th race. It looks like the two horse won the 12th race. So that was 10 bucks. Maybe we can catch a bomb in the 13th and uh, kick up that um, win price. But once again, shout out and congratulations to the untouchable bond.
a Brad Cox and his merry horses, an essential quality. And again, big shout out to Hot Rod Charlie. He ran a tremendous, tremendous race. And I'm glad everybody got around the race course uh, safely and soundly and that it was a good day overall. So we made a few bucks, nothing to write home about, but we had a bunch of fun. Let's tell me what you thought about the race. And as always, if you're watching this video, do us a big, big favor. Um, uh, subscribe, ring the bell. That way you can get notified each and every time that we do one of these videos. So once again, a great Belmont Stakes. Everybody finished up well. We made a few bucks. Let me hear how you did. Stay classy in all that you do. I'll talk to y'all soon.